This is my first programming video for YouTube. I was programming the other day and I got a type error when I tried to iterate through an object that happened to be a list and the object was contained in one of my classes. So I did some, some research and thought the solution was kind of cool and decided to share it. So without further ado, oh, and by the way, the example code you see here, so everything that, that I show you in the video, I, I created just for this video. Um, the real code was something I was writing like a terrain generating program. So I'll spare you that code. So let's say you have a class and a for loop inside the class. That'll work fine, of course. I'm using PyCharm. Or, yeah, okay, let's get into PyCharm. So you can see here, I've commented out some stuff. So let's go, let's go into here. Uh, and as you can see, like I'm just gonna run this and you can see everything's fine. Like we've got our swords class and we're, we're, we've got a for loop in swords and we're iterating through that and everything's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna do something a little bit fancier and we've got our weapons class here. And so we're using swords as uh, swords as a weapon and we've got our swords class coming through here and so we're just going to iterate through that and return a sword you know that has durability over five and max damage over seven okay so let's run this and oh no there's uh the swords object type error here swords object is not iterable after a little bit of research i found out that what you have to do is put in what is this a dunder iter and dunder next functions there. So we're just going to, sorry, I haven't been working with PyCharm for all that long, so I don't have all the cool shortcuts, you know, completely memorized. So we'll just uh, run this now. And there we go. I have the code for all of this. I have all the code at, at my repo, and so you can just go download it and look at it. But as you can see, here's, here's what I've done. And it was pretty easy. But we're not finished yet because there's other things that can go wrong, as I soon found out. So we've done this, and so I'm just going to show you that, that this works. Yeah, so that works. But let's say that I want to, to uh, know how many swords, how many swords we have, how many swords are weapons. So let's just uncomment this, and we're going to save that and run it. And here, yeah, so we get a type error. Object of type swords has no length. So that that's because we need this little guy here. Definition, dunder length. Once we put that in, let, let's save it and let's run it. And there we go. But let's say, as, as did happen to me, true story, let's say we want to grab a sword, any sword. Like I was, I was debugging something and I was just like, okay, I just, I just need an object, any object. Let's just take the first one. So then we run this and we get type error. Swords object does not support indexing. Huh? So I did some more research <laughs> and oh, you have to put in, well, I don't know if you have to put in all three, but get item, set item and, and delete item. They're all like the, the dunder functions that you write and uh and pretty simple like like really really simple people kept giving me different examples of how to do like set item and get item and some of them were more complicated than that i personally needed so i thought i'd show you what i'd done this is like the simplest case so hopefully maybe it, it'll be useful to somebody who's run into this problem well, let's run this save it and run it and there we go and uh, yeah, so I mean, if you want to like step through through it, uh, I've put the code up on on my repo. Just follow the link in the description. If this helps you, or if you thought it was interesting, or if you have a question, or if there's something I left out, or you just want to like express your opinion, please do contact me on Twitter. Have a good day. See you in the next video.